In order to determine the maximum and minimum values, we take the derivative of fx, which is equal to minus sine x minus 2x minus 1, which can be written as minus of, in brackets, sine x plus 2x plus 1. Now when x lies between pi upon 6 and pi upon 3, sine x is positive because x is in the first quadrant, 2x is also positive and therefore the expression in the brackets is always positive for x lying between pi upon 6 and pi upon 3. Therefore f dash x is negative and it therefore follows that fx is monotonically decreasing in the interval pi upon 6 to pi upon 3. Therefore, the maximum value of fx will be reached at the lower end of the interval, that is at x is equal to pi upon 6. Therefore, the maximum value of fx is equal to f of pi upon 6, which is equal to cos of pi upon 6 minus pi upon 6 times in brackets pi upon 6 plus 1. And this is equal to half minus pi upon 6 times in brackets pi upon 6 plus 1. Again, as f decreases monotonically as x increases, therefore the minimum value of fx is achieved at the higher end of the given interval, that is at x is equal to pi upon 3. Therefore, the minimum value of fx is equal to f of pi upon 3, which is equal to cos of pi upon 3 minus pi upon 3 times in brackets pi upon 3 plus 1. And this is equal to root 3 upon 2 minus pi upon 3 times in brackets pi upon 3 plus 1.